Last week on The Season. Looking ahead to Auburn, how do you look to find offensive success? It's the same recipe, you know, play fast, be simple, know exactly what you're doing and just go attack them. We have got to win the first two yards. That will help us win the deep ball, okay? We have got to make contested catches. We're going to make contested catches. I'm not worried about that one bit. Get up! Let's go! Coach Jackson, he's, he's developed me as a person, developed me as a player. I feel like our mission is to use the athletic development process to help these kids recognize and take advantage of every opportunity to maximize their potential. He's going to pass, a little hitch route of the five, spinning free and stepping into the end zone is DK Metcalf, and that ends the drought. Hey, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, stay in it, stay in it. And again, I know you're hurting, and I know you ain't into moral victories. But you got to come back, go to work. We're going to build off this second half. It's going to be the turning point. Get it being better than being in Oxford, does it, Coop? <laughs> We're gonna get to see the cheerleaders, the Rebelettes. I don't know, KK may be here. It's just, it's a good feeling helping being around them kids. They welcoming you, you know, they, they're ready to talk to you, learn about you, you know, especially something that's, that's not being like taken care of, uh, you know, that's real low on money and stuff like that. It's real good to be around them. Can you say good morning to Marquise? Good morning, everybody. Hi, guys. They're already looking you up, so they probably want to be like, oh, like, hey, that's Marquise, that's my role model right there. Look like a movie at the chair. <laughs> We're so glad you came to read today. You learn new things every day about them, and like everybody's life is not easy. How many of you like Ole Miss football? Me. Uh, I used to cheer for. If it wasn't football right now, I'd basically be trying to provide scholarships for them. You know, to help them be more successful in life, uh, chasing their goals to be the next best thing. They want to be best football, basketball don't matter. This is a very exciting class with a lot of good knowledge. So do you think maybe you might come back sometime? I would love to come back sometime. Yeah, Angie. 
I'm not surprised that Marquise is doing a lot of community service, you know, here in the Oxford area. You know, he has a huge heart. See y'all later. It's awesome to see a guy with that talent, uh, you know, that's that's looked upon, that's a role model, actually go out and be a part of the, of the community. It made me feel great, you know, to give back to the community and read to them. It's something I want to do after I leave over for my uh, degree. Just do a bunch of community things with the kids, you know. Make sure, you know, they keep their mind right, positive, and stay on the right track and just don't fall off the wrong way. And, you know, always help them achieve their goals the best way I can. I want to be there to like help to support them. All them people who they want dream to be in, I want to help provide that dream for them to let them know like, hey, anything's possible. You just put your mind to it and you know, just go succeed. That's all I want to do is just help them. If there's one thing Marquise Haynes will never do, it's quit helping children. That's why during the off season, he was recognized for his hard work away from the field. I was really surprised to win 38, you know. I, I know a lot of people felt like they didn't make him proud, but I'm pretty sure he's happy right now. Smile on everybody who wore 38 so far. I think it's very fitting. I think he represents the qualities that you need to represent that jersey. He is a leader off the field. He's a great player on the field. And he just, you know, I think, um, I think Chucky would say they got the right guy with Marquise. Not only is he a, he's a good football player, but he's also a uh, a great a great young man. He's everything that you that you want uh, in your program. They gave the Chucky Mullen number to the right person. That's all I can say. <laughs> he he's for real. To have it wearing this 38 it just means that my my business here is not yet finished until after this season, and I still got to represent Chucky Mullen for all the sacrifice he did for his team. And I guess I'm I'm just learning more and more every day about who I really am. I feel like he really deserved the Chuck and Moans Award. People say you should have role models that are on your team. He's a role model for me because he shows, it shows you how much hard work can get you. He does the right things when nobody's looking. So, so he's one of those guys where, you know, he, he's a leader, a natural born leader. You know, he may not say a lot, but he leads by example. So that's, that's really Marquise Haynes for you. <laughs> it's a lot of more hard work and a lot of more things I have to do to be able to wear this number to make him proud. I guess I'm a good role model and my character carries and I'm just here to lead the defense. I'm, I'm happy for him for getting 30, 38. He deserves it. He's a, he's a natural leader, a beast, and uh, he, works, he works hard every day and it definitely pays off on the field. Haynes' character off the field is supplemented by a booming on-field personality. Woo! Yeah, Mississippi! You ain't gonna hit nobody today. You ain't gonna hit nobody. I'm gonna see that country come out, huh? I'm gonna see that country come out, huh? We're gonna wake up, big boy! We're gonna wake up! We give them the talk, man. We can't let them talk all day, man. We cannot let Oran talk all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you do is talk. Hey, hey, start talking to more action. Start talking more action. He's a great defensive end. I feel like he could play linebacker, defensive end. It doesn't matter. He's just a great athlete. He's what I call a scheme changer. His athletic ability presents problems that you have to plan for. And there are certain schemes that you can't do or certain protections you can't run when he's on the field. Play action, and hit and drop, balls on the ground and recovered by Ole Miss at the eight. Haynes with the stick. Marquise Haynes came around that weak side, play action, Etlin never saw him coming, planted him right in the chest. Oh, Keith's a monster on the field. Every game, I'm expecting Keith to get at least two sacks because uh, how fast he is off the edge and like I don't think any linemen can uh, gauge his speed. Pressure from Haynes on third down. Ball is loose. Oh, Marquise Haynes told us third and long. It's hunting season. Watch the ball get off. The first step, the ability to get around the offensive lineman here. And this is a young, inexperienced Memphis offensive My line. first step is just me 
lunging out there, just jumping because I'm so explosive about the ball, and that's what helped carries me. Second down seven. There's the snap, and this time Hurt is hammered. I turn around, and all I see is Key spot the later. Boom! I'm just like, yes! In like slow mo. I feel like it was in slow motion. I was on the field, and I almost dropped my mouthpiece. Picked up by the Rebels, Youngblood. He's motoring to the house. And all I seen was Jalen Hurts this holding the ball. And I said, oh, this couldn't be the best present ever. And all I know, I just hit him with all I had, and the ball came up. John Little picked up, he just ran to the touchdown. But the Rebels hammered the quarterback, Marquise Haynes, got hurt, and then Youngblood takes it to the house for the score. There he is, oh, tell me. Oh. Hey, you got Keith rushing off the edge. Youngblood scooping the score, it don't get no better than that. Hey, sack close, I'm the number one playing college football. You know, you can't block Marquise Haynes one-on-one -on -one all day long. You can't do it. I think about some of the great pass rushers I've been around throughout my 30-year career. I mean, he's, he's right there. You really don't know what he is because he's not a human to me. You know, he, he's a defensive lineman who can run faster 40s than some of the guys, some of the skilled guys on our team. I mean, he's one of the best athletes, if not the best, I've ever been around, you know, playing with. And I'm really happy he's not chasing me every game. In week seven, the Rebels would finally end a month-long stretch on the road. This was truly homecoming. Let's go have some fun today. Let's go. Let's go have some fun today. Let's go. Come on, JP. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go have some fun today. Hey, man, we back at home. Let's go have fun, man. Hey, Everybody yeah. lock in. Do your job, man. Let's go get this done. Let's go. Lock in. Do everything you can, man. Let's go. Hey, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Be confident today. Be confident in today. Be confident. All right, you didn't get this far just by luck. We're talking. Let's go. 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 Hey, it's good to be here. There's no place like home, guys. I want you to start fast today. I want you to get this crowd into the game. I want you to use this home field advantage. It don't have to be a sit here and yell loud speech. It's offense, defense, special teams playing together. If you're jersey only, you got a towel and you're waving that sucker, man. Today, we're not waiting on something bad to happen. We're going to make something good happen. We're not, hey, hey, we're not waiting on somebody else to make a play. We're going to go make the play. Yes, sir. Let's go with this W today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get your towel now. Let's go. Everybody. Everybody's into it. Lock them down, baby. Hey, hey, don't be tight. Don't be tight. Go out there and play loose. Let's make some plays. Let's go. In the beginning stages of the contest, the Rebel defense would bend, leaving the Commodores on the fringe of field goal range. Third down, eight for the Commodores, the 21. There's the snap, here's pressure. Shermer's hit, he's in trouble, and he's sacked back at the 28-yard line. Marquise Haynes, good to see Marquise in there. That'll break the school record for sacks. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! He has more sacks than anyone in Ole Miss history. This is a 54-yard attempt by Tommy Openshaw. He's just one for three on the season. And that is a low line drive kick, and it's wide left and no good. Oh, you missed it, baby. I told you. I told you. Yeah! Yeah! I did. And it's Wilkins with all kinds of daylight up the gut and past the 40-yard line. Crossing route caught by A.J. Brown. He has it at the 40 of Andy. He's at a 30. He breaks clear. He's gone. 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, man. Oh, you already know that's big boy. A.J. one. Big one. One K. You already know it. Don't let him. Don't let him. Hey, I'm like, first down, second down. Call him. Vanderbilt would respond with two scoring drives of their own, leaving the red and blue down seven points. We got to step up. We got to step up. We gotta step up. Let's go. Let's go. It's time. It's time. Overcome. Whatever we gotta overcome. It don't matter. Play action pass now for Patterson. He wants to throw. He's going deep. Man, wide open all by himself in the end zone. Touchdown to Marcus Wild. That's one of those guys so open, kind of like in basketball. You don't want to miss this shot. There's no defender. My boy, five alive. Five alive. Oh, yeah. Hey, four quarter game. Four quarter game. I was, I was like, bro, please see me, please see me, please see me. Oh, thank 
God, I saw that! He's in the backfield by himself now as Webb next to him, fakes to him. And Haynes comes free to the quarterback, ball fumbled, and it's picked up by the Rebels. This time he'll take on defenders to the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Hey, that's you. That's you. That's you. That's you, baby. That's you. Keep the quarterback, Jack Mule. Hey, it's hot. Y'all can tempo. Y'all can take this game over. I want to see y'all do this. Take the game over. Y'all capable. Quick snap again. Patterson near side. He's got DK Metcalf. Reaches up. Catch it or no, they say yes. yes. He out wrestled yes. it for the grab. He got it, boys! Not a nut, not a nut! Straight ahead, look at this run by Wilkins, taking Vanderbilt defenders with it. Touchdown, Rebels. On the ball! On the ball! Get that ball! Get that ball! Get that ball! Hey, hey, Crime. Hey, give me one more stop. Give me one more stop, sir. One more stop before half. One more stop before half. Back to throw, Shermer has time this time, fires, far side, overthrows, intercepted by Hamilton, and Hamilton knocked off his feet on the sidelines. It's J.D. and Hamilton's second interception of the year, the junior from Lewin, Mississippi. Hey, Greg! Hey, Greg! Hey, y'all play on this in there! Let's go! Jay Patterson in the gun, there's the snap, fires, far side, 101. Reaching and grabbing that one on a back shoulder throw is Demarcus Lodge. That's a touchdown, Ole Miss. That was the back, best back shoulder you just threw yet. That's that right now. Yeah, it was. Hey, no momentum before halftime. Hey, no momentum before halftime. Don't relax. Don't relax. So now we will indeed go to halftime, and the Rebels are leading at the break. We'll go to Richard Cross. Got Matt Luke and a little better first half today. What'd you think? Just the energy's good. It's good to be home. It's good to be back in front of our crowd. They're feeding off the crowd a lot, and uh, we just got to keep it up. Thanks a lot. Pre-game, we said offense, defense, special teams for how many quarters? Four. Four quarters. Full game of energy and effort. Last week, what we said we are going to do, win the second half. No matter what, win the second half. Hey, it's zero to zero. Go win the second half. Defense, it doesn't matter how we win. But I know this, if they don't score, they can't win. I do know that. Hey, offense, as many as it takes, it doesn't matter how we win. Play together. Play together, four quarters. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Heeding the words of their head coach, the Rebels came out looking to continue the trend they started in the first half. Hey, third down. Hey, third down. Let's go. Here's the snap. Here comes pressure. Shermer is going to be hit. The ball's out. Oh, oh. It's at the goal line, rolling around now, rolling to the back of the end zone, and looks like the Commodores are going to land on it. No! It was Marquise Haynes again who came around to force out the football. Hey, Breland, you're still slow. You're still slow. Hey, that's what you eat up front. That's what you eat up front, baby. Hey, let's pound them. I want, I want to run the ball, baby. Breaks tackles and is into the free around the left side for a first down run. How about that effort? down and six of the Rebels from the Vanderbilt 29. Play action. Patterson throws the end zone wide open. A.J. Brown out one's easy. Touchdown Ole Miss. Leading receiver in the Southeastern Conference. A.J. Brown's one of the best in all of college football. Hey, great drive. Let's just keep it going, man. Let's get, we got to keep the pressure on him. Every time we get the ball, we got to do little things correct, right? Everything's got to be perfect. Get your pad level down, drive people out of there. Everybody got it? An ill-advised fourth down try for Vandy would again give a clicking offense the ball and another opportunity to score. So let's see what Jordan can do here offensively. He's going to fake the handoff, keep it and run right, and he's really good at this to the 40 and up to the 45-yard line. Going to hand this one off, running left to Swinney. Swinney's got some 50, 45, 40. There he goes, Eric to the 25, 20, and he's headed to the house. Touchdown, Eric Swinney's career first. Woo! 
That's your first SEC win, man. Congratulations. That's why you gave it to me. I like that. I like that. And just like that, the Rebels were back in the win column, getting an SEC win and carrying momentum into a matchup with the Bayou Bengals. We got our swag back. I feel like we left, we left too many points on the scoreboard defensively, offensively killed it. We're going to get back to the workshop. We got us a win involved anyway. Let's keep this train rolling, man. Great family win, that's one thing. Swinney! I know you still had that breakaway speed, baby. <laughs> proud of you, man. Proud of you. Appreciate it. Way to run that thing. Good. We got to move on to next week. Get the Dove versus LSU. But we'll be ready. We just got back on the winning streak. Look, we're going to take one game at a time, keep it going, and get another one. Week by week. Out of time. I'm, proud, I'm so proud of all the adversity that you fought through to get here. Sorry. Hey, this feeling that you're feeling, it's not for sale. It's only for rent. Sorry. It's only for rent, but you got to pay rent every week. Hey, because we sat right there, miserable, at that halftime locker room in Auburn. I said that was going to be the turning point of our season. Hey, and it, and, it, and it is. Hey, so it's time to get that momentum going back the other way. We got two more home games. We got LSU coming to town. Yeah! Much better feeling. You know, it's back there trying to be funny, but uh, you know, coming off two tough, long, three tough losses and getting this win, it means a lot. And that's what we're talking about, getting this momentum rolling. But it feel good though, man. Getting in the zone, work for it. Just got to get ready for next week, LSU. My boy right there, Jay Wilkes. Jay Wilkes right there. I don't want to do this. He needs it. He needs it. All help. He needs it. But that's the man right there. Hell of a game right there. Get this dub, turn this season around. Let's go. You know, this season. I always see a Wednesday's at six. Y'all come holler at us. Y'all come holler at us. We're going to see y'all every week. 